Good morning, children. Today we are going to continue with chapter four, Gopi and Bhaga. In the previous class, we studied about about Bhaga's obsession and impact on drumming on his parents and villagers. Today we are going to study about how Gopi and Bhaga met and became good friends. So please pay attention while I read and explain the chapter. Bhaga lived happily for some time. He could play his drum without people chasing him out of the village. But after a while his peace was disturbed. So when Bhaga was thrown out from the village, he lived quite peacefully and happily in the forest. For few days he was very happy. He kept on practicing his drum. But suddenly his peace was disturbed. He started getting frightened. He was somewhat scared. He was feeling insecure in the forest. Now let us come to know what was his insecurity or why was he feeling insecure in the forest. The forest had no tigers but it seemed to have a terrible beast. Now in the forest there was no wild animals, no tigers, there were no, no other beasts that could harm Bhaga. But still he was feeling insecure, he was feeling scared. Why? Because he could hear a terrible sound coming up from the other part of the forest. Bhaga had, had seen, Bhaga had not seen any animals but he was hearing some terrible sound coming from the other part of the forest. Bhaga hadn't seen it but he heard it roar in the distance. His bellow would make him tremble and shake. Now Bhaga never saw this wild creature but the loud roar of that animal, the bellow, the loud roar of that animal would make him tremble, would make him fear. He used to get very fearful and he used to shake in fear and be very terrified all over. This creature will probably, probably eat me up and my drum too if he sees me. Now when Bhaga heard this bellow of, the, of this creature, he started fearing for his life as well as, as, well as he was started fearing for his drum. He thought that this creature would eat him up as well as would eat his drum. Bhaga thought and decided he should find another forest to live in. Then Bhaga thought for few days, it's best that I should leave this forest and go to another forest and take refuge over there. The terrible beast was none other than Gopi Gain. What Bhaga thought was the beast row was Gopi practicing his song in another part of the forest. Now, at the beginning of the chapter, we read about a singer named as Gopi Gai and he also shared the same fate. He also had the similar fate because why the villagers did not like his song because he had an unimpressive voice, he had a terrible voice due to which he was also thrown out or banished from his village and where did Gopi took refuge? He took refuge in the forest. Now that terrible beast voice that Bhaga was hearing, it was none other than Gopi who was practicing his song on the east end of the forest. <clears throat> Gopi could also hear Bhaga playing the drum and he too was terrified by its loud roar. Finally one day he decided to run away from the forest. Now Gopi on the west end of the forest East end of the forest, Gopi, where was Gopi? Gopi was on the east end of the forest, on the other end of the forest and Bhaga was on the other end, of, means on the west end of the forest. They both were in different directions and they both were getting scared by listening to, they were listening to each other's song and music. So they both were getting scared and they both were terrified. So it was the same case and the same scenario for Gopi also, he was also getting scared from inside 
he was also trembling. He thought that there was a creature in the forest that would eat him up. As he was making his way out, he saw another man carrying an innumerous drum on his head. So while Gopi was coming out of the forest, he saw another man or another boy of his age carrying a huge drum on his head. Gopi was amazed, he was surprised, he was shocked to see this person and asked him, Who are you? I am Bhaga Bhai. Who are you? said Bhaga. When Gopi asked Bhaga, Who are you? then what did Bhaga reply? Bhaga replied and said, I am Bhaga Bhai. And the same question was being asked by Gopi, uh, Bhaga, Who are you? And then Gopi replied and said, I am Gopi. Guy, where are you going? asked Gopi. Then Gopi asked Bhaga, where are you going? Why are you running out from the forest? They both were asking each other's question. Why were they running out from the forest? I will, I will go wherever I can find a place to stay. Then Bhaga replied and told Gopi that I would go to a place where I can stay. So why can't you stay in the same forest? Bhaga replied. All the people in my village are fools. Then, ba then Gopi asked Bhaga, why are you, uh, means Gopi asked Bhaga, why are you living, uh, why are you searching for a place to stay? Then Bo Gopi told Bhaga that I am searching for a, for a place to stay because all the, all the villagers in my, all the villagers in my village are fools. They do not appreciate my music. They, do, they insult me. They ill treat me. For that reason, I am leaving this. Uh, I am. Le I left my village and I am staying in the forest. They cannot appreciate good music. That is why I came to stay in the forest. Then Bhaga told Gopi that the same uh, that my, the villagers did not appreciate his. They don't have any knowledge of good music and they do not appreciate him. For that reason, he was living in the forest and practicing his song. He was being banished from the from his village. But there, there is a terrible beast here. If I stay here, the creature will surely eat me and my drum too. That is why I am going away. Then Bhaga told Gopi that there is a terrible creature present in this forest. For that reason, I am so scared that maybe this terrible creature might eat me up as well as my drum. For that reason, I am very shocked. I am scared of my life as well as I am scared of my beloved drum. This is the only drum that I have. So that's why I want to, for that reason, I am trying to leave this forest. You are right, said Gopi. Then Gopi told Bhagra that you are right. I am also hearing a terrible sound coming from the forest. I think so there is a beast present or available in this forest due to which he was also making a move out of the forest. I am also running away from this beast. Tell me, where did you hear its roar? <clears throat> then Gopi asked ba Bhaga, For that reason, I am running away from this forest. But tell me, from where did you hear this roar? Then Bhaga said, I heard this roar from the bamboo thicket. He heard this roar from the bamboo thicket. From the east end of the forest. Why? That was me, cried Bhaga. Then, uh, the, why? Cried Gopi, sorry. Uh, why? That was me, cried Gopi. Then Gopi said, no, it was me who was practicing my song. I was practicing my song there. It wasn't a beast. You heard my song, said Gopi. That wasn't the beast. That beast roared on the west side of the forest by the big banging tree. Then, by, then Gopi says, I, heard, I also heard another beast roaring from the west end of the forest. From the, I was getting this sound from close to a banging tree. Then Bhaga replied and said, No, that was me under the banging tree playing my drum. As they, as they realized, that they had got scared listening to each other's music. Then both of them, after coming to a conclusion and after having a conversation, both of them realized that they both got scared in, uh, in listening to their music 
then they became good friends they started but they bursted out in laughing they started laughing at each other and then gopi and bhaga became very good friends and from that day onwards they decided that they would go and play for the king i hope so children you understood this story i will give you a uh, a summer i will be giving you a summary of the story in short so that you might understand it more better until then thank you take care